Hello everyone, don't mind me, I'm just watching my ships going back and forth in the harbor area, something that I could do all day long, but of course we cannot do this all day long because we have a business to attend to. So let's just have a quick look around here on the harbor area, there's also some new uh, built uh, dreadnoughts uh, that were coming out uh, from the steam shipyard just a few seconds Firing ago so i could take them now and merge them with my fleet then right over here as well in the center of the map oh there's also some movement here again but this is bentis airships and my flag monitors are also stationed in the center of the map now back to business really without all the babbling and bobbling uh we do have of course our Demings Island, right? So Demings and with that we do need to go with the cigar factories. Now before I continue, I just wanted to shout out that um, I'm very uh, thankful for all the Patreon support that I'm receiving as well. Patreon is an external site where you can contribute me directly and as I try to transition over to full-time content creation, this is helping me out a lot. So if you're interested in supporting the channel directly with 100% contribution, then please have a look at my Patreon link and uh, support me there. You also get some benefits in the in the process without the without further ado we continue here we do have all the building materials now over in demings in my ordinary settlement and yeah we don't ha even have uh, the production here now i've built i've just finished the fuel station so there is now the train whopping over and getting the oil in and uh, then produce um fuel and with this we do have then uh, this line here directly to my to my plantations there's not a lot of fuel that you need all the time so a one paved road should be fine for this and as we can see a little bit later a truck is getting over there uh, delivering uh, the fuel to my plantations we continue then onwards with a few more uh, we do have quite a few of these steam motors but for starters let's actually get rid of the tractor barns here um, as I don't want to, to build all of them at once what we want to build all at once though is the tobacco plantations and holy cow once again, very expensive. So let's just go ahead and have this one up there too. Together with my with my plantations. And of course, another thing also is finding more items than along the way. So another Ferrus that we have. We do have a, quite a few of them now by now, I think. Um, and also something that definitely boosts my uh, tobacco plantations. We Your still have returned. more room it's here. Fun. So there's also Salvador, I think. No, I don't have him yet. And he also affects the cigar factories with 100% productivity so let's go ahead with this he's also a substitute for my honaleros to obrero workforce and uh, uh, definitely at least one uh, tobacco boost uh, that i would like to have that we have the tobacco plantation pedologist that is also producing then some cocoa in between now uh, let's get this guy also over here to my demings to really get the maximum out of it by now as we can see most of the tractors are working right so we do get a nice uh, booster out of it productivity plus 200 percent also workforce required reduction and also produce the extra tobacco on top of it what we still need to do here is yep we need to upgrade our warehouses both of them and even that might not be enough so more steel beams are on the way right now to get all of that out we are now at a tobacco production of 23 which is still not enough really for where we want to go here and as you can see, the distance is no problem really as the fuel station is having several trucks here delivering the fuel all the time. And this ensures that there's always a maximum production out of the, uh, the tractors that we can use. So no problem there with the distance. And the cool thing is we can then use this fuel station to have more plantations over there to also power this one. More resources are coming in. So let's continue upgrading those warehouses to the maximum something that we really should have and now it has uh, the full amount of uh, cards there both of them so that we get the maximum in i think there is another one yep with the timber and the bricks it's just a lot of building materials really that we want or that we need um and then we are going down here now with my cigar production oh sean why are you doing this sean and now we do have a total production of 23 Meaning that we could have around 10 of the cigar factories. I will probably not need that many. So let's go ahead with uh, six, seven. Let's try it with those seven because we also will have uh, the power station. However, this is not everything that we have right now. We do need to build a trade union. Let's go ahead with this. Let's try to affect it with all of them. Very good. And now we have this item here that uh, Torcido Lucia, and she has the cigar factory productivity boost by 40%. But also instead of wood veneers, we are processing timber for them. And as we can see, it is affecting them right away. We've got lots of timber, but of course we do need a an, our own timber production then on this island too to, to really counter all of that. So let's go ahead. 
and have us a bit of space reserved. So how much timber do we need now that we know it then around that? Around 20. That's actually quite a lot. But as we can see, the consumption is almost on par now with the tobacco plantations. There's no need really at the moment to boost it with electricity. And boom, there we have the timber production now as well for Demings. Okay, there we have this one. Unfortunately, I do not have any any propaganda now. Scandalous takeover. Hithatai swiped by a rival. We had a uh, takeover there. And rightfully so, this um, is con uh, this is uh, in, in, well affecting my people negatively. But on the other hand, we have it back again. So actually, it should not work like that. Actually, the negativity should be gone, right? Since we have taken it over again. But I don't know about that. By the way, level 60 that we've reached with the latest uh, population boost, leading us to 122,000 at the moment. Now, everything here should be working out nicely. Um, the tobacco, I could still boost a bit. I do have um, some room here still left, right? So we do have already 300% on the tobacco plantation. This is without the trade union at the moment. I could further continue now with the silo or also um, trying to get me some productivity boost here. However, we do have a surplus. So one more tobacco plantation should be the golden one here now. With that, we have everything set up for Demings, and that leads to a total production of 22 cigars uh, that we have. Crown Falls, if we remember correctly, has around, I think, 10 it was, 11 it is. So that is a totally fine now. We have a surplus, and Manola on the cigar output needs 5, right? So we do have plenty of that for both of them now. Let's set up the trade rods. Uh, trade rod number 1 is going from uh, Demings all the way to Manola. And this one is going to take... Yeah, we could take the clipper, to be honest. We have one clipper available. And let's take the clipper and taking me 50 tons of cigars that are coming in now. And as we can see, we already have that for Manola, number one. Number two is then right away Demings to Cape Trelawney to Crown Falls. And once again, this is, this is going to be a bigger one, right? So the volume is just bigger for this one here, larger. And let's take this one over for one of my cargo ships, the Ardent Squid. There will probably need to be two uh, cargo ships then on this trade route here. Manola gets the, exactly the cigars yeah. then as well. This is affecting the Artista and the Obreras, both alike, right, with their happiness boost. Will be quite severe then for us. Perfect. Of course, for now, it will affect it not that much because there's going to be two trade routes going outbound from Demings. Um, but eventually, uh, the cigars will be full, just like with the coffee here. And then it will even out, of course. So it's going to take a couple of minutes, perhaps an hour before this evens out. But then we have a total supply of both of the islands here. Uh, let's just go to Crown Falls real quick. The engineers have everything they need. The investors, uh, there's the penny file things. Let's... Let's pause the cigars there. Penny file things, how's it looking about that? I think it was not that great. Yep, we actually do need more factories. Um, I do have a room over there and I still have some blueprinted bicycle factories. Let's just quickly go ahead and build them. That's going to be number one. Steel and caoutchouc we need for them. There's also trade union here that I could still further boost them. Electricity wise, they're already being boosted. And with uh, those factories now, yeah, we have a surplus again. However, I'm pretty sure that my caoutchouc will suffer greatly because of that. Steel uh, is still capped. We don't need to worry about that. However, the caoutchouc is actually not that bad, but I'm pretty sure that we need more of that. And with that, we also got the first batch of cigars now leaving for Crown Falls. As always, nice and with style. That's the important thing. Now, we continue onwards, though, with some fighting. I do have my fleet once again. And I think I still have some more. I can take that one. And, oh, he's also trying to purchase now Tabrim. Let's gather my fleet. I really would like to destroy a few more of Miss Hunt's islands. And that's these ones here. Look at the amount of airships. We definitely need to do something about that because the size is increasing, right? This island is not so heavily defended. I mean, that's some heavy fortification, no doubt about that. We are going to need all our dreadnoughts for that. She still doesn't want to talk with us. That's okay. 
back in and base up. Let's purchase back the share. So we really do have a lot of things to do right now. And I only can focus at one at a time. And of course, Tavrum is then a bit capped out there at the moment. Uh, we continue onwards though with the city expansion of a Tavrum. Very important here is that we... Um, to get this along, right, as it will lead to scholars eventually, and that is something that I absolutely want to achieve uh, really quickly. Let's go ahead and have some more blocks over here. I would like to have a smaller park area in the center of of Tabrim, something where people can celebrate. <laughs> Those people really like to celebrate. Something in here, and then we continue onwards with another marketplace somewhere over here. And by the way, by the way, we should also make sure that we do have a main road system going to the other side, right? So something that goes then over to this area where the city continues. Something like that. And we continue happily then here with some more houses over there and also over here. Timber at this point is really not a big deal. As it's really cheap as well. Uh, let's have two more blocks here. There's the marketplace. And another production is needed. And that's the goat farm. Uh, we can have the goat farm totally over there. It does not need fertile ground or moist ground, that is. And we can just have some of them piling up then here. We do need around three at the moment. There will be a probably six uh, as a maximum. Let's say nine. So I would probably need around nine gold farms unboosted. And yeah, we're not going to boost them that much really. So all I can do now here is getting us those um, nine over. Right? So we can take it like that. And as we already can see, they're easily stacked together like this for example and we can just have a bunch of them lined up then and we could even have more than in the in the future as well if we need to let's go ahead and build some yeah let's build those ah, and those here to get the to get that juicy milk out and of course also a warehouse so close by oh hello hugo he's just passing by he's not determined to destroy my goat farms One thing that we really should get along is the Musician's Court. That is a service building tier 1 for the Shepherds. As we can see, uh, happiness is not that high. And there we have then this Musician's Court. Let's have some road entrances on either side. And then we can have the whole thing in the middle. Uh, do we have... Do we have some... We don't even have a beautification tab here in Tabroom, unfortunately. Though we have lots and lots of beautifications that we can add. So perhaps a smaller well on either side, because of course we always need something to drink. Um, also something for the donkeys and horses. And let's just have them here. And then of course some trees here in the back to the other houses and in between here as well. Very good, let's build all of that. Plus the musician's court in the center of it. And this should, yep, as we can see, stabilize the happiness quite a bit. Further happiness boosts can be achieved then by providing the hibiscus tea, but as long as they're not totally unhappy, um, I'm not totally unhappy there as well. There's, by the way, a resident quest. Have you seen my baby brothers? Uh, wayward Did brothers. In your death? There we also, by the way, have the main quest here, so the gold milk is coming in now, as we can see, and we now need to maintain it for 50 seconds. And on the other hand, we do need to find a red shirt little brothers in Tabrim. Uh, since it's very small, it shouldn't be a big of a deal, is it? Should it be? It's the little kiddos that are running around here on the streets. Two we found so far. Number three. Down here. And there we have number four. Very good. Perhaps we get something nice out of it. I'm glad we can trust you to A seasoned soldier, salt works, and lobster fishery productivity boost by 30%. Not the worst. Alright, we continue onwards with the main quest here as well. Life bringing Being waters. We'll need to build a white water pump, 50 canal tiles, and get a linseed farm fields up and running. The linseed farm are then all ready for my embroideries. A that is the next product that I would need. Oh, we lost a ship. Right here in Manola, there is a bigger ship attack of attack. of yeah, of Miss Hunt. Fleet we have warships close by though. 
Not that Manolo is really in danger as we have lots of defenses here. Um, it's still annoying for my trade routes that are being uh, disrupted with that, of course. This is, as always, advanced battle cruisers that Miss Hunt is using, so it's going to be pretty hard to destroy them. Three heavy warships or royal warships should be fine for it, though. Yeah, this is this is nasty. Look at that. It's a full, full cargo ship here that is just being destroyed right now. All right, I know, I guess we, we know what we need to do now, right? We need to ban Miss Hunt from the new world. Some of you have been already suggesting it. I'm way too lighthearted. I'm way too, too kind to others, usually. And this is what they pay me for. So Miss Hunt, I'm sorry, but your time has come. There's no way I can forgive that. You robbed the people of Manola of beer and sewing machines. This is something we need to we need to rectify. She barely do, did, did any damage here anyway, right? She also lost the, the the heavy warship, and we didn't even lose a ship there. So that's that. Very strange tactics you're using. Just to annoy me. Let's try to save some of that beer and swing machines. That's the important yes, thing. flowers of course she always has some flowers on board even uh, though flowers actually make sense right because they need to make their own bread of course let's just unload this and replace the trade route that we just lost it was a global trade route the beer there it is and get us a new one on it and you can happily continue then with that by the way by the way cigars are in very good leading to another happiness boost for my population in manola with the bit of influence that I still have, let's build some four more cargo ships. Very important. We do need them and we're running out of them. I do also have my five dreadnoughts in Cape Trelawney that I would like to move now. Also to the new world. Because over there, it's getting a bit tense now because she's got some good defenses. And first of all, I don't need to have them in Cape Trelawney. She's not moving in any ships at the moment. And we do have... Um, Plenty of royal warships that are saving the day anyway. So those guys here, let's get them to the new world then as well to create one massive uh, fleet out of it. In Tabarim, we continue. I really would like to push Tabarim a bit more now since we do need it for all of our for our scholars, right? We do need them to have some canals and we can have them right over there. Providing then the fertility that we need for the, the next plantations. Going then all the way up there. Let's build it actually so we can also see then the water, water flowing. Much like people, is a primal force. But with willpower, with intent, it can be Absolutely we will. Uh, let's continue then with a warehouse right over there. Because there's going to be some plantations yeah, close by. And by now I think, yep, now we do see the overlay, right? So now we can see what we need to build where. In that case, here, for the four tiles. There you go. Going all the way up. And then this canal here getting this way. Now, with that, we need to make sure that we are not using maximum capacity. Also, we do need to have some capacity then on the other side as well to power some fire stations and stuff like that. Other than that, though, we should be fine here. This one with another canal going all the way up here. As we can see, we do use then 150 out of 250. Um, and then probably a few more over there like this. Let's make sure we still have a connection with that beach area over there. Um, I do need only three embroiderers for now. That leads to three linseed farms and around two linen farms. Let's make this even and say we do need around... Uh, we have around four of them. Um, I will need another warehouse over there then anyway, right? And then we have another plantation here for that side. Perfect. For number four. Then I need the linen mills. Um, we could probably have them all lined up here already. But this is going to be beach industry now let's not have it there let's have this production right over there actually um we do need the embroiderers we do need the linen mill we don't need that many linen mills i think a maximum of four will forever be good enough right and this leads to a maximum of eight embroiderers very good let's start with having only two of them i think for now should suffice and then four of these embroiderers here as well for all the other uh, ones the timber and then we have those guys here very nice. And let the farming begin Moves in a tabrim as well. Another quest fulfilled. Now we just Ours need to sustain 80% of it uh, across the region. 
water, the key to bringing in Beza together. Traditionally, for the last production that we need for tier one, it's the dry house. This requires the Sanga farm and the salt works. Now the salt works we have on the beach. We do need two of that uh, at the moment. So it's ex exactly the same as the embroiderers. That means around two dry houses will already be enough. So I uh, would we'll just probably go ahead and have them actually then here lined up, right? So those four and then perhaps, perhaps a few more here in this corner, but I don't think so that we need that much. Let's have those two and that's really enough then. And with that, the only thing we now need is those salt works. However, they need to have a direct beach connection all the time, right? Little so I cannot place them on the water itself. With. And with that, we're just going ahead here and have them, have them along the beach then like this. And also a direct connection, of course, with the warehouses then. Um, that's the, the six that we need for the dry houses maximum forever. And then we have the Sanga farm. This can be improved by fertile soil, right? So we can build it up there. Uh, probably don't really need to. There we have our Sanga farms, eight of them for now. We don't need more. And I think we're going ahead with having those four here built right away. There is tea by the door if you want to. Two salt works right over there. Beautiful buildings, really. And then also some two dry houses right over here beside that market or warehouse, sorry. Now, next mission already would be then also the fire station. As we can see, the finery is now coming in. About the fire station, uh, we can then get it all the way down there. We would need a second water pump. We can use this one here. And that one has then the canal that goes then also to my fire stations. Uh, let's have one. Let's try to have them as central as possible so that we don't need to have uh, that many canals going back and forth. This one would actually almost reach all of the all of this district there, right? And there's the canal for that. Let's build the, the water pump. And then for irrigation purposes, there is the canal. And let's just try to get this one along the, the road right over there. And as we can see, connection has been made and fire station has been built. And we could also, just for the, for the heck of it, get us some trees beside the canal. So this might also then add, just add for a little path where you can walk around to get some cool water from the river right away. At the same time, the next mission has been fulfilled as well. And what we will also see then is a dried meat coming in and with that we have then all the goods fulfilled for these jolly good people. Next quest, Fascinating North, a trade hub. Emperor Katima asks for photographs of old world trading posts. He believes there is much to be learned from the empire of the old world, especially if Mbesa is to be recognized in, the, in that quarter as an empire in its own right. Take a photo of an old world uh, trading post. So I think Crown Falls should suffice. And it is sufficing because we do see that mission piling up or, well, appearing in the old world. Let's take a photo. And he couldn't be happier about it. Binyam tells me your lands hold many strange ones. Would you care to Now we need to take. Uh, we need to talk about him. No empire is built upon a single thing. But what would you say is the old world's greatest legacy? Of course, yeah, military conquest. No, that's just mishunt. Let's make industrial prowess and economic growth. Tall cities, then vast, prosperous, and beautiful. And access to every comfort and convenience. Well, life has to be good. We are also ensuring growth and thriving. Uh, we are a populist. Uh, thank you very much for that compliment, I guess. Now we need to sail to his uh, lighthouse. By the way, we do have still a ship here with lots of uh, items on board. Do we have a storage? There we have it for 10 wands, sir. Uh, we, can, we can do this. We can make this happen. So let's also start by building us a smaller... Um, docking station then here as well so we can have a pier later 
And with that, we should be able to unload a few more materials. Very good. Let's get to Katima's Lighthouse then. As we continue with the growth of Mbeza, we could also go ahead with a few more houses than here, I think. But, ah, dried meat there is coming in, so it's only a matter of time now before we can finally go for elders and then scholars. Stay tuned. <laughs> 